Where does one place end and another begin? Sometimes there can be no doubt on reaching the summit of the mountain pass and peering down at a new valley dropping away below us, we leave one world and pass into another. Where is so often the case, a watershed marks the boundary, whether between nation states, counties or parishes, we can stand with one foot on each side, aware that we are straddling the meeting point of two distinct places. At a local level, however, boundaries between places, some of them dividing lines of great antiquity, may be invisible, running unmarked along field sides, streams and roads, or across open ground. When I was a teenager in Lawton, the horizons within which I felt I knew every inch of the landscape were limited to the areas I explored on foot and by bicycle. As a 14-year-old, I cycled to Lowswater most spring and summer Saturday mornings to visit a girl. The cycle ride took me along the narrow back road from Lawton Bridge, past Twinfell Hall to Thackthwaite and beyond. I soon came to know every gradient and turn in the road as I pedalled my old, heavy, iron-framed bike with its Sturmey Archer three-speed gears that I could never quite adjust correctly the few miles to her house. The going got tough when the road, after following the river from Lawton Bridge, turned sharply at Littlethwaite and began its twisting ascent to Thackthwaite. At that point, I also became aware that I had left Lawton behind and was entering new territory. It was a strong impression, and although I was unaware of this at the time, it had a sound historical basis. Just beyond Littlethwaite, the road crosses Mirgill Beck, a small, insignificant stream trickling along field boundaries before passing under the road at an angle, unnoticed. I must have crossed it numerous times without even being aware that I was crossing a stream. Yet Mirgill Beck marks a line of cleavage in terms of the history of the valley, separating the lower from the upper reaches and preserving the memory of patterns of ownership back in the Middle Ages. This modest trickle is a major historical boundary, part of the jigsaw of territorial boundaries, which forms the framework of the rural landscape.